Uh, also very interesting, the nation's elite business schools have gotten a little less elite thanks to the recession and the financial crisis. According to Bloomberg Business Week, one third of the top 30 B schools have become less selective in admissions in their full time uh, to their full time MBA programs in 2010. Schools including Michigan, UCLA, and Indiana. But like everyone else, new MBAs face a tough job market. Last year, one out of six B school grads didn't have a single job offer by the end of the summer. One school, though, that's bucking the trend is Arizona State's W.P. Carey School of Business. It's the largest business school in the country by enrollment, but it boasts an 89 percent job placement rate for its students who graduated this May. And Business Week has named the W.P. Carey School one of the top in the country for return on investment this year. With me now is the school's dean, Robert Middlestedt. Bob, thanks for joining us. Uh, uh, let me ask you, I, I teased the story saying it's maybe a little more optimistic than you might expect. You guys have a good uh, job placement percentage, uh, but is the market getting any better for job placement? Well, if you look at the total job placement and our stats at 90 days out at the WP Care School were 89%, which is fabulous. But the sector that offers some possible minor uh, ray of hope is that everybody who majored in supply chain graduates, 100% of those uh, in supply chain management were placed uh, by the end of the summer. So, How many people are majoring in that? Uh, well, it's uh, maybe 20% of our class uh, at the graduate level. We also have a very large undergraduate program, and all of those folks, uh, along with accounting grads, by the way, are, are both hot areas where all those people are getting jobs. All right, so 89% is better uh, than your competitors. Is, is the market getting better, or are you just doing things right that other schools aren't? Well, I think that our, our school has been known for many years as one of the top places for supply chain management. We do all of the majors, uh, from you know finance to accounting, management, marketing, all those things. But supply chain management is a particular area of expertise that has been hot. And that's because supply chain management has moved from being a back office procurement function over the years to being something far more strategic and far more high value added. So companies uh, come to us for those folks, but they come to us to recruit a lot of others too. Part of it's our location in the Southwest. Historically, uh, people just a like lot the of sun there, and they, people like the sun. Now, not all of our graduates stay there, but uh, but the companies come there to recruit. Where do you place most of your graduates? I mean, I, you would think that a lot of MBAs go straight to New York or London, the financial hubs. But obviously, they're uh, big business hubs in California and, and, and all, all over the place. Well, about a third of our graduates stay in the West once they graduate. Uh, California, Nevada, Washington, Arizona, all those places. But then we place a lot of students in the Midwest and the Northeast. Uh, so, uh, and, and we do place a few students every year in New York in, in investment banking, but in commercial banking and other parts of the country as well. How has enrollment been? I mean, during the financial crisis, obviously a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of Wall Street guys uh, went back to get an MBA, or, or non-Wall Street guys wanted to get an MBA because they couldn't find a job. Do you see that flood of students still been a very interesting trend. Uh, historically, recessions were a time when people went back to school because they knew that two years later when they got out, the job market would be up and then they'd be able to get a great job. I think that this one's dragged on long enough that nationally, MBA enrollments have been flat to down. The interesting shift, and ours have been about flat overall, but the interesting shift we have seen is a, a shift from full-time or evening MBA programs into online. And we have one of the most highly respected online MBA programs, and that's the one that has been growing like crazy because people can stay in their jobs and uh, continue to work toward this, uh, hoping to do something, make a change when the economy turns around. Just got about 20 seconds left, but what's the return on investment like? I mean, how much does it cost and what can you expect? Uh, the return on investment calculation was for undergrads and, and basically that they could recoup within the first five to seven years about six times their investment and in what they paid for their education at Arizona State University. All right. That was quick. Thanks very much, Bob Middleset, Dean of the Business School at Arizona State University.